So today I'm going to share with you what is the most important skills you need to have in this space of buying businesses. So, hey guys, uh, if you don't know me yet, my name is Moan Pover. I've been involved in multiple businesses over the last 10 years. I'm in the space of buying businesses, buying existing businesses. I really believe that anyone should know and learn how to buy an existing business. If it's to grow your existing business or if it's if you're just an aspiring entrepreneur and want to start and become a successful business, I believe that's the best space for you to go because it's probably going to take you the same amount of time and money to buy an existing profitable established business with clients, employees and all that stuff versus starting from scratch, which in my opinion is just so much more risky. You wasting so much time, so much money to potentially have a successful business. And unfortunately, most startups fail. So this is what this channel is all about. It's all about how to grow your existing business by buying other businesses or how to start your entrepreneurial journey with acquisitions. So this is what this channel is all about. But many people ask me like, hey, what is important? What skills I need to have if I want to get myself into this space? And I want to dive into that a little bit today. So to begin with, I would say any skill in life, it's not about a specific skill. It's about your willing to learn that skill. So and I would take any day, anyone who have commitment, who have passion, who have the right mindset and is willing to be consistent with his work than someone who is, I guess, more talented. Because in the end of the day, in this space, like any other space, in life, it's all about your consistency and you, consistency, and you're willing to put in the time and effort. Um, and that's why, in my opinion, that's the most important thing. Because in the end of the day, having the strategy is super important, but then it's all about your execution and your mindset. And when you have all those things combined, that's how you can become successful in anything, in my opinion. I think if you want me to expand on that, I really think that this space is really uh, i guess good for people who just like people who are okay with people to get to know people yeah, i don't think you need to be an extroverted like me personally i'm actually not extrovert um uh, i'm more introvert than extrovert actually and i think it's more for people who just okay talking to people they're okay with talking to people and mostly listening to people I think if you're able to listen to people, you'll be really good in this space because you in this space of buying businesses, you're talking with many business owners who sometimes own their business for 10, 20 years and they're really, really passionate about talking about their business. So if something like that is going to be boring for you, that's probably not the sector for you to be in. I would say go in, I don't know, build an e-commerce store and be behind the computer all day long and just look at stats. Um, I think that this is for people who like to be involved with many things at the same time, who have lots of creative ideas. So if you talk to an existing business owner and they talk to you about their business, then you like to come up with ideas on how you can improve that business and how you can make things better. You don't necessarily need to do those things yourself. You can use the business cash flow to then hire people to do the day to day. But I think that you need to be the one with the vision, with the creative ideas to bring into those businesses that you want to buy. And that's why I think, again, it's all about your mindset, having the understanding that it's a skill set like anything else that you need to learn a lot in this space. It's not easy. I think it's very simple to buy a business. It's not easy. And there are lots of things you need to learn in the process. At the same time, you need to understand that it's a process and you need to put consistent time every single day. But when you understand the basics, then it's all about being okay with working with people and listening to people and just understanding people and have a lot of empathy, I think, with people. Because many times when you buy, especially those size of businesses that we usually look at, like businesses doing between one to 10 million a year in sales, um, it's more about the rapport you have with the seller than the money that you offer for that business in order for you to close the deal. That's why... I guess being good with people is something that can really help you in this space. So I hope that answered that question, guys. If you want to learn more A to Z on the exact process on how to buy existing businesses and how some of my clients are buying one, two, three businesses a year and have someone to run the day to day for them and how they can use other people's money to buy those businesses, then see the links below this video. We're going to put links to the free training that I'm holding. Um, and yeah, go and check that right now. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like the video, subscribe if you didn't yet. Let me know in the comments below what do you think or 
maybe what skills do you think um, can help you or do you think that you have the skills necessary to be successful at this uh, space and I'd love to hear it and and I'll, I'll promise I'll, I'll go back and comment to your uh, responses as well so I hope you enjoyed it guys and I'll see you soon